should I still record a CD? First of all, it's costly to have CDs go to a studio. They will always tell you that you have to take at least two or more, 200 or more CDs, uh, because otherwise it's also not worthwhile for them. So you spend a lot of money, you have to travel, find an official studio, make sure you have a decent contract with them. You have to also ask them a lot of questions, how they are going to distribute your music after you record the CD. I think you are better off to make a good audio recording and make sure you find it everywhere on the digital streaming services. And that is something, by the way, that we also offer as Chicharoni Music Club. And now I can hear you think, oh, that's why you're so negative about CD producing. It's not true. Um, this is a service we started to offer <laughs> because I saw all these artists with so many CDs. I mean, I had my 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 cupboards my cupboards here full with CDs, and I try always to give it to someone, even to my old uncle of 75 because I thought he's still using CDs and he looked at me like my what are you asking me he said man no I'm only using the digital streaming um, I, I go on Spotify or I go on YouTube <laughs> it made me feel a bit ridiculous so there are some people they still want a CD they still like to play a CD but most of the people they just like to go to streaming services now we have, for this reason, created a label last year. It's called Chicharona MA Streams. We offer good contracts. You get good royalties in return. We share income with our artist, and it's not nothing. Um, we are very, we work very transparent, and we would like to help you bringing your music out in the world.